There are about 20 students at the Otto Zur Institute for Political Science at Berlin's Freie Universität. They are students like any other, but in some respects they're also a bit different. Studying here means studying for a joint German-French master's degree. The degree's official title is Political Science, Affaires Internationales and Européenne. Céline, Arthur, Benedict and their fellow students are following a binational course, one year at Sciences Po in Paris and one year at the FU. Fifty years ago, students like this didn't exist. These students really are European, they think European, and they see Franco-German relations from the perspective of a European. Sabina von Oppeln helped set up the first ever German-French joint master's degree in the realm of political science. It all began with a student exchange in the 1980s, which eventually became a binational degree course, French and German in equal parts. The students have a lot in common, but there are also just as many things where they're different. The French want you to be able to talk about a lot, that you know a lot. That's the typical Sciences Po method. We educate you in many areas, whereas the Germans like to talk about specific issues and really delve deeply into the subject matter. That's what we experience here at the FU, that we really have to delve deeply into our master's thesis. But it's not just about facts. More so than others, these binational students acquire the ability to function in different cultures beyond the borders of Germany and France. German's image of France is sometimes not quite as rounded as it could or should be. So these joint degrees can help people to better understand these differences and also this richness. All these students mean that this subject is increasingly being integrated into society and that there really are no more borders in Europe. I just take it for granted. And I want to be able to travel to other countries with this sense of unity and export this Franco-German relationship as a package, so to speak. Students like Celine, Arthur and Benedict are shining examples of functioning and reflective international relations. Not that we can afford to sit back and relax, as the Elysee Treaty, which was signed on the 22nd of January 1963, reminds us. The major milestone in the treaty was the institutionalization of Franco-German cooperation, meaning that all governments, whether they liked each other or not, were forced to talk to each other and communicate with each other. But of course one shouldn't depend on that, that's not everything. The students pursuing the Franco-German joint master's degree are making the difference. They've voluntarily endorsed cooperation between France and Germany, and that's an endorsement of Europe too.